Hello everyone, I'm Christine. Welcome to Christine Says A Lot, where I talk about sewing clothes for me and for my family. Welcome to Friday Sews. Today I'm full of team spirit and I am wearing my Friday Sews t-shirt gifted to me by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. Jen has these available in her store on her YouTube channel. I'll link it below. I really love the fit and I think I might order another one. Let me give you a view. I like how it comes in a little bit. Jen didn't ask me to promote the shirts or the merch on her store, but I really do like this shirt and I love the fit. This is probably my best fitting casual t-shirt, so thanks, Jen. So what have I been sewing? I have not been able to sew as much as I would like. I've had a super, super busy week and the rest of the weekend is gonna be equally busy. I will show you what I did manage to sew up. Now don't laugh y'all, cause I made a great big mistake and I'm gonna have to do some unpicking. So I was working on my Tabitha t-shirt dress with the drawstring cord and I was multitasking and you know when you have those moments where you say, hmm, this just doesn't look right, that's when you should stop. And I sewed this kind of upside down, wrong edge. That was the best way to describe it. So as you can see, you cannot see the buttonholes I carefully sewed into the skirt. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. I just was powering through. I was sewing this while I was talking to my sew sisters. And I am grateful I did not serge the ends because that would have been hard to come back from. So here we go. This is what's on the inside of the skirt. Rookie mistake. I'm good friends with my seam ripper, so I will just take that out. It's not the end of the world and just do it correctly the next time. I did try the dress on for fit and I like the fit. I love the color. If you have been following my channel, you will know that I recently had my colors professionally done. I used to think I was the winter season and it turns out I'm a calm autumn. I'm gonna be sewing a summer capsule wardrobe in my new colors. And if you missed the video, I'm gonna link it here and also below where I talk about all my plans to sew with my new colors. And that Tabitha t-shirt dress is one of them. So I need to get on picking. I wanna thank everybody who has commented on my sewing plans and given some suggestions for patterns. It is so helpful to me. And I think it's also helpful to others in our community. So keep those coming. If you're gonna be participating in any of the sewing challenges, I'd love to know. I think we all would what you're making. Leave that down in the discussion box below. And if you wanna leave your Instagram handle so we can all have a little bit of a show and tell and see what each other's making. The only other sewing projects that I've worked on is the hipster bag by Adam Sews that I'm making for my mother for Mother's Day. And I asked y'all what fabric I should use. Overwhelmingly, it was the macrame fabric by Cotton and Steel. And I'm lining it with the cats. <laughs> and this is from the Cat Lady range. How could I not use that? So as far as I've gotten is I have quilted my pieces together. I've got to cut these out, but I've cut all the other pieces out and I just need to have a stretch of sewing time so I can get that done. I like to have my Mother's Day gift completed well in advance of Mother's Day, so I need to get cracking. There are a lot of sewing challenges in the month of April taking place over on Instagram. I'm gonna link down below to Michelle Sews Again's channel where she has a video talking about all of the challenges and there's something for everyone. I'm gonna be participating in two of the challenges. The first one I wanna talk about is Selfless Sew 23. I am gonna be on the vlog tour for that. I believe my day is April 12th. 
there's gonna be one or two vloggers coming every day to talk about the challenge and give you inspiration on how you can sew for others. I do sew for my family, so I have a lot of things on my to-do list and that I'm anxious to get to for this challenge. I'm gonna be participating in the Sew April Blouse Challenge and I'm doing a collaboration with Michelle from Michelle Sews Again, where we're gonna incorporate the techniques and things that we learned from a fitting class that we took with Lorraine Henry at the Sew Expo in Florida. So stay tuned, that will be coming soon. I had some patterns I ordered from PDF Plotting delivered and I've got to get these folded, put in storage, and then I can get on with my unpicking and my sewing. Happy Easter, and this is what YouTube thinks you'd like to watch next.